Yeah, pre-season's gone pretty well so far. Uh, you know, we're only in fourth week. We left it quite late to start, um, probably because you know we were late finishing middle of May with the league uh, program. And we had quite a lot of lads involved with obviously county rugby to the end of May. Uh, so it, it's a bit of an inexact science pre-season, uh, but everything is you know focused towards that first league game. Uh, but the lads are working hard. We've got you know a number of new faces who are putting their hands up and. Um, yeah, we're pretty pleased so far. We do. Um, you know, it was a case of, you know, we started planning for this season probably before the end of the last campaign. Um, and the thing that we, we really wanted to do was sort of retain as much of the current squad as we could. Uh, you know, we felt that we had a, you know, a very, very good foundation to build on. So it's disappointing that we've, we have lost some players. Uh, obviously, you know, their individual situations probably dictated that they've, they've moved away from Lightfoot Green. Um, you know, Gareth Gore's obviously got the filed. Um, you know, I understand Gareth's position, uh, and he understands ours. So in the end, it was probably a, you know, a good move for both parties. Uh, Will Keenan um, moved to be closer to his girlfriend down in the West Country. So, you know, we understand, you know, why Will's moved on. Uh, a couple of the university lads, you know, they their degrees have come to an end with Connor, uh, Connor Murphy, and, and Josh Pinnell. So again, we wish them the, the best. Um, and obviously, Mike Haley, you know, his dual registration with Sale has come to an end. He's Currently in South Africa, and you know we're delighted that uh, Sale, you know, are hopefully going to use him more in their sort of first team plans next year. Well, we, we identified obviously one or two areas that we felt uh, we wanted to perhaps strengthen or, or have different options. Um, I think the case was if we managed to keep you know the, the full squad that we had at our disposal last year, you know we'd have probably only looked at bringing in one or two bodies in, in perhaps one or two areas. Uh, I think it's you know a case that we might have to replace lads that have gone a bit you know so that means that we're having to look at different perhaps types of uh, player than, than we probably set ourselves to do at the end of the last campaign so um, you know there's one or two areas we are keen to have a look at options we have spoken to players uh, you know about coming to the club you know one or two have, have been interested one or two have, have decided that uh, they'd rather stay where they are but uh, you know I'm quietly confident you know we'll have the, the bodies in place come uh, you know the start of the season um, and obviously we can you know, kick on and improve um, on last season's showing. This year, good. I think it's going to be a really competitive season. I think there's there's probably more strength in in the division this year than there was last. You know, looking at the teams that have come down, um, you know, and the teams that have have come up, they all look as if they're ready to, to hit the ground running. You know, there's not the case we've had in in past years where a team that's in free fall is just dropping through the divisions. You know, we've got teams that are, you know, perhaps disappointed that they've. You know, managed to get quite a lot of points and you know, sort of so Macclesfield, you know, they probably had enough points in seasons gone by to stay up in National One. So they'll they'll probably fancy their chances of going straight back up. Um, you know, Sedgley Park, obviously a team we know well, you know, I think they'll be a you know a good team. Um, and obviously teams that have come up, you are never quite sure how they're gonna adapt. But looking at um, you know likes of Chester, you know, they've obviously got a you know a good squad there, they've got um, some interesting new faces on board. Um, but I think teams that were there or thereabouts last season, you know, particularly Stourbridge, I'm sure they were uh, very disappointed not to go up. And I think Darlington, you know, they've got some real momentum. Um, they seem to have again strengthened their hand, you know, and I think they'll go very well. Um, and there's always a team that comes out the pack that you you least expect. You know, it was Hull Ionians last year. Um, you know, perhaps Otley, you know, they've improved. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they go, but. I imagine there'll be a team that perhaps nobody's talking up that will um, you know, be competitive and at the top end of the table.